First of all, veganism isn't a diet or a lifestyle. It is a moral position and an ethical stance. However, veganism is a man-made concept and I wouldn't want to impose an ideology upon other animals who would have been fed much better for the most part had they been taken in by non-vegans. Sweetie Pie, I eat a plant-based diet and avoid using animal products for myself. The problem of stray animals is one created by humans and it will take a while for it to be collected. In the meantime, I'm going to make sure the animals I care for are fed well. I give my kids kibble, uh, wet food that comes in pouches, and raw meat and fish every once in a while. And I know how they react to the kibble, the wet food, which I like a lot better, and the noises they make when I enter the house with raw meat or fish, doubly wrapped and in my bag. I know for a fact that my dog is an omnivore, so I'll give her the options and let her make the choice. And I know for a fact that my cats are carnivores, so even if these animals can be vegan, I'll let them make the choice instead of forcing my way of eating upon them. As for the hens and fish and the other animals, I don't like that they have to die. I don't like the idea of fish suffering and sea life being destroyed. I know what fishing is doing to the oceans. And I, I don't like seeing a hen's throat being slit. I hate how hens are transported and I get traumatized seeing them in cages. But they're going to be eaten by humans anyway, so might as well go to my animals. So my main points are that I eat my species specific diet for the most part. I'm a frugivore, but I will eat some cooked food when I'm drinking. Cooked vegan food, plant-based. So I won't impose my beliefs on other animals just because they're dependent on me and can't tell me to take a hike. And just because we've domesticated them doesn't make them our slaves. If anything, they own us. And so, as Metallica says, obey your master.